Sure, you want to dive into that one? Oh, sure. It's a broad subject, but we can go. <laughs> All right. All right, let's do it then. About not sleeping or? Yeah, not I was going to say, which one do you want to pick? Because there's oh, so thanks. many things that happen to a woman as she ages and enters that wonderful phase of menopause from dun, 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 dun. <laughs> from what the age of 40 on because you can start your perimenopause and then your menopause and then your postmenopause and then yeah so like okay, here's, here's, here's the deal here's just something i just want to throw out here we get to have we have to have menstrual cycles they're so much yeah. fun we yeah. get to give birth then we have perimenopause, then we have menopause, mm -hmm. then there's probably postmenopause, and then there's probably something else that we don't even know yet. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What is the deal with that? I don't know. Like who because we are mighty rules? women. <laughs> yeah, but I, I just want to like just find out about the rules on that. Cause like I don't think it's evenly divided. You know what I mean? No, mm -hmm. not at all. And I mean, give you a little back story. And I'd have to go look up further and I'm not gonna walk away from my desk. But menopause was named by a man, made that menopause, <laughs> was a male doctor who made that name for our symptoms or whatever you want to call it, because it's a pause in your menstrual cycle. Oh. I don't think it's a pause. No, it's not a pause. It's a, stop. a freaking- <laughs> I would define stop. it as a pause. <laughs> on it but i think it's just so ironic that we have it but they name it hmm. anyways um it's the world we lived in so here's my question and not that we celebrate but um daughters granddaughters nieces nephews yourselves when we started our menstrual cycles, that was like a rite of passage. Like you're becoming a woman, you're celebrating, you're in, you know, you're coming out of your youth and this and that. Oh my God, you're making it so sound so nice. <laughs> but when you go into menopause, you're freaking like the cross is up. People's like, oh, she's just, a, oh, she has half lashes. Oh, she can't. Oh, or she's crazy. Yes. She's in menopause. Like we're this devilish, like forgotten woman. And we're so far from that. True story. Yeah, you're right. You know, I don't know. What do you ladies think? Interesting. I mean, we, we talk about menopause because we talk about the symptoms of menopause, right? Like what we experience in terms of uh, night sweats, hot flashes, um, you know, the fact that our period stops, uh, lack of sleep, brain fog. I mean, like the list is endless. The list goes right? on. Yeah. And we, and we talk about that in terms of what it is that we are experiencing uh, physically. And it's so interesting because I have a friend who is older than me, um, has definitely gone through that whole, you know, menopause phase and never experienced a thing never once had a hot flash, never once had a, you know, like sleeps like a baby. Like it's, wow. I know I'm like, whoa, what, like, what are you eating? Like, tell me, cause like, I'll start eating, <laughs> yeah. you know, like seriously. I mean, it's, I mean, the, the, for me, I remember having hot flashes when I was in corporate and it was like the most embarrassing thing yes. because you'd be sitting there in a meeting and, you know, on those faux leather chairs that are basically plastic and heat trappers. And like, you're sitting there and like, you can literally feel the sweat running down oh. your back, you know, pulling yeah. on this chair so you have to be the last one out of the room because it's like I can't stand up in front of these people like this is going to be no good right like all of the things all of these little things that you it's like okay someone should have told me that whenever you go to a meeting always make sure you have a jacket to put on at the end of the meeting so that you yep. can get up and walk out of the room and right. people aren't going to think like well you're running a marathon or something here or like what's happening <laughs> yeah. right you know oh my like, god oh, Tracy, you are speaking my language. I, and in my corporate 
I was dealing with mostly men at the time. So mm. now I'm in these, and of course you're in a conference room and it's closed door. So that makes it even worse because there's no airflow going through. You try to find the air conditioning vent. So that's where you want to sit. But one of the tricks I always learned was to make sure I brought ice water in. Mm. Like ice cold water. And I'm not an ice water person. But if I felt one coming on, I would take a sip of it and it would help like bring down my body temperature or whatever. But I thought I was the only one that had that feeling. Like oh. they were leather seats and I'm like, I'm not getting up. I'm gonna look like I peed in my pants. Like yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I would have been, I would have been taking that, like that cold water drink and rolling it across my forehead <laughs> because like, you know, the beads, the sweat are just like everywhere. And yeah. people are looking at you like, like, are you okay? Like, are you feeling all right? And it's like, yes. Yes, this is just well, it's much more open now, moments. though. Yes, yes, it is. You know, yes, like my kids were saying, oh, when they were in high school, they're going, oh, that teacher is going through menopause. I go, how do you know? She goes, oh, they're always opening the door, trying to get the cool air and standing in front of the window. And they're just like they kind of joke about it where before it wasn't really talked about. But I find it interesting, Michelle, how you made how you talked about, you know, when you started as a woman and it's all these wonderful things and then as we age, it becomes kind of like, it's wonderful. I'm no, 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 people, no. People celebrate it. Like, yeah. Oh, my daughter, she got her period. She's yeah. now a woman. Yeah. Well, okay. One, you're right. Tracy G it freaking sucks. Like <laughs> there is nothing pleasant, you know, about it. The only thing that's pleasant was I was able to have my two children. That was it, you know, but <clears throat> we go through all this bull crap through regular or regular cycles of the bloating, the pains in our chest, all of that while we're growing up. But then when you hit menopause, it's like, you know, that yeah, you're, like no one talks about it anymore. And yes, people are starting to talk about it. And it's ironic that you're saying it. People are talking about it. I've had people that have been watching our YouTube that say, can you talk more about menopause? Cause I'm coming up to it and I don't know what to expect. God. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, what do you mean? You know, because. Okay. I'm not putting down doctors, but I am not all medical professions mm. have those conversations or they don't help women transition through those phases. Mm -hmm. Well, first they've got to acknowledge it more than just, oh, you're going through menopause, right? Which sure. I think is, again, I go back to the word dismissive. It's like, yes, okay, Tracy. Yeah, you know, go do that for the next five years and stop complaining about it. It's just, a, it's just something that happens to your body. And I think, again, if it was happening to men, <laughs> The difference of what would be talked about in, and things like that, or the medical research or whatever you want to do, mm -hmm. anything to help, help a lady out, <laughs> right? right, would be there. And outside of the physical things, there's, I also think a mental thing where you go, oh, oh yeah. I'm, I'm over here in my life. Wow. And, you know, I don't know, is it a middle, mid-age crisis? Like men get that. I don't know is menopause ours that it's not a crisis we just okay it's all really mean crisis then but, like, but you know what i mean like there's a mental there's a mental state i found for me it was all of a sudden there's a mental state that goes along with all of those physical um symptoms absolutely i forgot, I forgot to have the mental state as forgetfulness is part of the whole situation i forgot to have that part yeah lovely <laughs> Well, forgetfulness is a good thing <laughs> it can be I you know it, it is though you're you're right though Tracy I think it needs to be acknowledged that it is there is all the physical stuff but there is a whole mental thing that that happens to women as well and that's the part that I don't think people talk about mm. that's the part that sort yeah. of is left out of that conversation so people are are acknowledging the fact that you know the doors are being open windows are being open women are fanning mm -hmm. themselves and it's like oh okay that's just you know the stage of her life and and all of the fun things that we had to go through when it wasn't talked about and you're experiencing those physical 
um, physical things in corporate world. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I really think that that whole mental state needs needs to be discussed more because it's not and women start to feel I know for me it's like what's wrong with me mm -hmm. like what's happening here what's wrong with me and there's nothing wrong with me like right. it's just you know but it's hard when you don't have somebody else to talk to it really mm -hmm. is yeah I, I you know there was a couple things um even though I really didn't want to have any more children or any of that, but the fact that, that my body was changing so much, and that was one of realizing that I had come to the end of my cycle, actually was like for a moment, like, oh, you're old now. And I know I'm not old. I don't act old. I really don't. But mentally, I had to work through that mm -hmm. in a piece that... Um, your body's drying up now, you're old. And we're not. We just have gone through another phase within our body's growth. That is all it is. But mentally, that really mm -hmm. like screwed for me with me a little bit. And then you start with the whole other mental issues, you know, because you, I, been seeing women that have been going through all of a sudden they have anxiety and the depression and you know just different things mentally that way and also reevaluating their life and being mm -hmm. like what their self-worth is yeah I know that's a lot that's a lot of stuff to be as you're having night sweats and yes. hot cold and that was a big one for me is that we were not having more children but you just took the choice away from me I can't right. have I, I'm, I'm done. My body will not allow me to have more children. And that really sucks. And you do, for me, I had to get like a mental switch and go, you know what? It's, it's okay, Tracy. Yeah. <laughs> you weren't having them anyways, but um, yeah. And, and, and then I think then that whole old thing comes in too, because you are not defined um, by youth, but you acknowledge that now there's things you can't do. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Well, I mean, yeah. if we if we go back to the caveman days, you know, at the point that a woman can no longer bear children, she's no longer useful to the tribe, right? It's like right. there's no there's no reason for her to be a part of the community. So it. Sorry, did you say difficult. caveman days? Oh, I thought yeah. you said 2022. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm I'm wrong about that. Sorry, Tracy. Oh, what were you saying? <laughs> but it's, it was more prominent back then. Let's just put it. <laughs> but it's, it's true though like it was very much um you know like our our living in terms of our emotional responses and what was required of us back in that time frame um uh, was you know it was pretty easy it was like survive eat you know have mm -hmm. babies and yeah. that was basically it right um and yeah so the you know women were no longer useful at the point that they could no longer have children. They weren't adding to the community in, in mm -hmm. any way, which yeah. ultimately, you know, that, that just represents death. It's like, uh Oh, this is it. Yeah. Like my time's over. Right. 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 So, and, and even though if you go through from cavemen <laughs> all the way up to, I don't know, let's go back even 50 years where life expectancy was around the age mm -hmm. of 50. Not all women even experienced menopause yeah. because their life, their life expectancy wasn't to that age all the time. So now we have women living longer and, you know, the, our life expectancy is, is expanded. So more and more people are through the years going through menopause. So it's not something to be ashamed of. It's not something to be sheepish about and you're not getting old, yeah. you know? And, and, you know, Tracy G, like you said, we no longer can have, We our choice was taken away mm -hmm. to be able to have children. So now I think back of, more of like having freedoms to do whatever I want. 
you know, it's like, it's now a little bit more liberating. It's a little bit more, um, I don't know, probably because I've worked so hard on it. Like one woman stated in, in something I was reading, I want my, the old me back. There's no way in hell I want the old me back. Mm. I don't. I like who I am now. I, I'm mm. comfortable where I am right now. Mm-hmm. I don't want the old me back. Yeah. I, I think also it's not it like that whole topic is no longer taboo. Like certainly mm-hmm. when I was growing up, you'd never talked about it. It was like, you just don't talk about that kind of stuff. Um, now there's like books and there's forums and like, there's so much information that, um, you know, my daughter's generation can mm-hmm. get from yeah. that, right? Like our kids have the ability to find out anything they want about menopause. It's, it's pretty amazing. So, yeah, I mean, thank heavens that has turned around and it's not this yes. big taboo subject. So, yeah. But, but that's turned around for the women. Do you think that, do you think that, there's a difference with the men though. I don't know. Like, I'm just saying in 2022, like what do, what does society think of menopause or, or yeah. is it talked about? Is it like dismissive? Is it, you know, tell me, tell me more. Where are we, where are we at? Like it has, has it changed? I think it's changed for women. I mean, obviously yeah. it's hard to talk about, the male perspective, because we Mm -hmm. don't have that. Um, But again, like I would suggest that, you know, my husband grew up in the same era I did. It wasn't Mm -hmm. talked about. You didn't, you know, you didn't, Mm -hmm. like women didn't even want to talk about it. So we're certainly not going to talk about it. But I don't know how engaged men would be in that whole subject or discussion because it's not something that they go through it's not something they can relate to it's not it's something not. that's part of their lives other than supporting whoever it is that they happen to be with that You're might right. be going through that right 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 I agree with you on that point and having that support but I think where the miss key is is our males in the medical field are not digging in to understand what women go through with menopause and really understanding what women go through in menopause. So um, I don't think, I think they just think it's one of those phases you're going through. And I don't think they try to do a deep dive even into like Tracy G was saying, the mental aspect of it, you know, our mindset, our brain, you know, I've heard women say, well, they told me to go see a psychiatrist. They, I get fluffed off. You know, I get like, I really feel like I'm having these anxiety attacks. Just go see us. You need a psychiatrist or, you know, it's more like, I don't think male, and I'm not saying all males in the medical field. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, and I, I feel this on the female medical side also, not all doctors really understand what a woman goes through in menopause. I, but I, I want to throw that argument out that is that not true for a lot of doctors in general, in terms of let's call it the bedside manner, Mm -hmm. um, whereby they are trained and it's very clinical. It's very, Mm -hmm. here's the information onto the next one. Here's the information. You know what I mean? It's like that environment of, I don't know, sit on the couch and let's chat. I'm not so sure is there in general for a lot of the medical community. I could be wrong on that. And no, I'm certainly and, not. And I, I understand what you're saying. I do agree with you. I think that um, that has changed from even going to see a doctor 10 to 20 years ago. But I think my point was, um, doctors look at you, well, this is just another phase and they don't under, try to understand as an individual of a woman, like you said, you have a friend who never had a phase through menopause. That was her. Yeah. Okay. But you could have somebody else who has really severe anxiety all of a sudden mm. and just fluffing off that person doesn't 
it doesn't help them through menopause. Oh yeah, no. They might need to to have conversation with a uh, another medical professional, a, a social worker, or psychiatrist, or something like that. But yeah, just yeah. like off the fluff, telling them, "Oh, just go do that," is like you're saying that bedside manner. So I it's the dismissive again. thing that Tracy said. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And then I wonder how that goes into corporate then, because now um, Mm -hmm. male or female, I'm younger looking at you having a hot flash over there going, you're telling me what to do. You can't even control your own, uh, you know, your temperature, your body temperature, because if you're a woman, you haven't been through it before. And if you're a man, you don't understand it. So all of a sudden now you've worked your career, you've done this amazing job, and now you're going through this other physical transition and people look at you I'm asking I'm not saying this is the way it is but people start to look at you differently because you're older going through menopause so do you really have all your crap together or is she losing it and maybe maybe that should go to this person over here yeah that's an excellent point that's that is a really excellent point and it's just yeah, it's just a physical symptom you're going through, right? You know, that is it. You shouldn't be dismissed because you're having a hot flash. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you with the hot flash out the door. <laughs> I'm full and I want the door open anyways. <laughs> okay, yeah. any advice? Any advice? Any good advice? Any like uh, yeah. that you go? <laughs> always have a jacket in meetings. <laughs> um, <laughs> mine was the ice water, and second is really to dress in the lightest of layers on yeah. the way up. So I always had like a loose tank top on, and like you said, Tracy, a jacket or something. Now you'll laugh at me. It is 28 degrees out. I'm dressed very not warm. Yeah, I'm warm, but I'm barefoot. Because if I put on a heavy sock right now, because my door is closed, I will have a, I will be suffocating. That's how I regulate mine too, is my socks. Th- that can really help me out whether, um, for my temperature, like I just like, oh, just take this off. I'm not going to show you my feet, but I am, I am barefoot right now yeah. because it is how I try to control my body heat. It, wow. It's just the way it is. So, and it's okay. Dress in layers. That was probably one of the biggest advice I got was, you know, dress in like, um, Tracy, that turtleneck you have on right now. I'm like dying, like dying. Like <laughs> I, there's no way I can put that on right now. I am also barefoot though. So don't so get, that's the only reason I <laughs> so can do I. it. See? <laughs> Okay, the biggest tip for half lashes is to be barefoot. <laughs> I also think, though, the, the other thing to do is, is you need to recognize that this is a process that you're going to go through. Mm-hmm. You invariably, unless you're like my friend, can avoid it. And you need to really be kind to yourself during that mm-hmm. whole period because there is the mental aspect, there is the brain fog, there is those days where you're like, whoa, like what I have, like, this is really what's going on here. Um, and you just, you, you just need to take that pause and, and give yourself some self-compassion for sure. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a change and we've, and like how you started Michelle with what we've gone through as women and Tracy, like all these things, it's another change and to, um, embrace it rather than not. I love that. I love that. Embrace it. Don't, you know, it's a change. It's yeah. a change of life. It's a, you know, we go through these cycles. That's all it is. Thanks for watching. And we hope to see you as a regular member of our community.